Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn about if statement in C++. But before we start make sure to subscribe to channel and access the complete playlist of C++ for free of cost. Now let's move to our topic. First of all let's learn the syntax of if statement in C++. It consists of one block which is if block which holds the condition inside the parenthesis and based on the condition it prints the statement that is enclosed within the brackets. If the condition is true then it will execute the statement and if the condition is false then the statement will not be executed. So now you got the basic idea of how if statement works in C++. Now let's go to code blocks and see how it actually works in coding. So here I have created a C++ file and we have our boiler code written. So inside the main function we will write our program. First of all let's declare a variable named as x and assign 5 to it. After that let's write the syntax of if statement. Now here we will specify the condition. Let's say that I want to put the condition that if our variable is greater than 4 then print the statement the number is greater than 4. So let's run the program and here you can see that it prints the following statement because the condition is true. Once again let's see how the program actually works. So first of all the compiler will try to find the main function. Once it finds the main function then it starts executing the lines of code written inside it and finds the line where we have declared and initialized the variable x. So in the memory a container is created of name x and 5 is put it inside that. After that the condition is checked whether the variable is greater than 5 or not. If the condition is true then the compiler will execute the block of lines inside the if statement. Instead it will came out of the if block and as we have not written any code after that so it will exit out of the program. So in this case as the condition is true so it has printed the statement written in the if block and our program ended successfully. You can also use multiple if statement to check the condition. For example, we will use another if statement to check whether the variable is less than 10 and write the statement that checks whether the number is also less than 10. So as the condition is also true hence both the cout statements will get executed. Now here is the quick exercise for you. What you have to do is simply take a number from the user with the help of cin statement and check if the number is given by the user is greater than 0 and if it is then print the message that the number is greater than 0. It's very simple just go ahead and spend a little time doing this exercise. So that's it for this video. In the next video we will see if else statement in C++. So make sure to subscribe to channel and press the bell icon next to it so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video and also share this video with your friends. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.